On the 1st of July this year, I reported on two stop and searches, one here in Merseyside and one that took place in London. I'll link to that report below and up here. In the Liverpool video, two young lads are stopped by armed police in Tox Toxteth in a report that police had received suggesting someone in the area had been seen with a gun. And surprise, surprise, these lads fit the description. That old chestnut. But that's not the reason for this report. This report is to do with the other incident which happened in London, where a 14 year old boy was put to the ground by Metropolitan Police after they confused him for somebody else. So another misidentification, no doubt based on another fit the description ploy. Deshaun Joseph was stopped and handcuffed by police on Thursday, June the 23rd, after he was believed to have matched the description of a black youth in a blue hoodie wanted in connection with a nearby robbery. Even though Deshaun was wearing a grey jumper over his school uniform. Police handcuffed him then put him to the ground and he said he had his phone snatched by police during the incident before being pinned up against the wall. Although to be fair you can see quite clearly there that his phone is on the floor. To Sean said of the incident, I was upset and scared. I thought I was going to die. This has never happened to me. So I was surprised. Well, that's blowing the racism narrative out of the water a bit, hasn't it? A black boy who says he's never been stopped in 14 years. Something must be wrong. Maybe a glitch in the matrix. Now, obviously not to take away from the fact that if this was his first interaction with the police, Certainly wasn't a good one and probably did frighten him and will likely tarnish his idea of the police moving forward in his life. Again, there is nothing to suggest that this was racist. Simply being black and being stopped by the police does not make it racism. However, his mother thinks otherwise and has made an official complaint to Metropolitan Police over the incident, which has now been picked up by the IOPC. Independent Office of Political Correctness. His mother alleges that the officers used excessive force and treated him differently because he is a black teenager. The IOPC said on Thursday that investigators want to make contact with anyone who witnessed the, uh, what happened. IOPC Regional Director Graham Beasley said, I'm aware of the concern the footage of this incident has caused. We know the use of stop and search can have a negative impact on black and minority ethnic groups and erode public confidence in policing. So it is vital we thoroughly investigate this matter and establish the full circumstances around the officer's interaction with this child. We would really like to speak to anyone who witnessed the incident so they can help us to paint as full a picture as possible of what happened. Deshaun's mother, Janet Joseph said, it's every parent's worst nightmare. It's the same old story. Every black boy fits a description. There's no excuse for what they did to my son and the excessive force they used on a 14 year old black boy. The Met Police claim that Deshaun uh, was stopped because his clothes matched the description of a robbery suspect. Which, as we have mentioned many, many times, is one of the police's go to lines, just like you're in a high crime area. The police have honed their abuse of the public over a long, long time. They know what to say to most people to simply get them to bend over and comply. And it's good that kids like Deshaun are not simply accepting the abuse that cops dish out on the public. But understand this. We all get abused. Blacks, whites, Asians, the lot of us. But if it is black youngsters getting targeted more, as you call it, maybe that's because black youngsters are committing more offences. Wouldn't that make sense? I mean, they wouldn't be stopping a black lad if the description was of a white lad now, would they? Just a talking point for the comments. Let me know what you think.